first and foremost, Mitch, congratulations on the honor. It's not just this week, though. You've had a hell of a season, and I don't think a number of folks are paying attention to it. But, Kev, if you looked at his numbers from last week, those, they're unbelievable. They look great. I want you to give me your, you know, real 1-5 you know, show hot scale thoughts on Mitch Hanniger uh, with and without facial hair. So Mitch, you're just gonna have to sit here. This is not really much a question as it is uh, just Kevin <laughs> talking about uh, how hot you are. Um, yep. Yeah, yeah, I'll be honest with you, I'm a facial hair connoisseur. So Mitch, facial hair for sure. Listen, he's sneaky hot either way you look at it, but I'm gonna tell you right now, <laughs> really hot with the little beardy three to 12 day growth. I'm in right there, Mitch, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, like it. You know, I usually grow it out and then cut it and grow it out and cut it. So uh, just kind of letting it go right now. Love it. Love uh, I it. love it. I want to ask you about the Grand Slam you hit back July 10th. Now, I know you can hit. I know you got great facial hair. You're sneaky hot. We know that. You got one of my favorite leg kicks from the right <laughs> side. Yep. But does the credit go to the rally, kid? I want you to please explain. Yeah, I mean, you know, that, that inning started, and I think I was like – maybe sixth or seventh up in the inning and I was hoping to get up because I knew if I get up it'd be at a big situation and uh, yeah, they started throwing the rally kit up, up on the scoreboard and he was getting the people going and and this place was rocking so um, you know JP drew, drew a walk right before me I was sitting on deck and I was just kind of rehearsing my at bat going into it saying you know I'm getting I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the job done uh, I'm gonna come through right here for the boys and um, get a dub so luckily that's that's what happened and it was a fun night Great shots mm. as well here, as yeah. you can see courtesy of the Mariners in the IG feed. Hey, can I get sentimental for a second, Mitch? Because, look, you know, it's a fun season right now. Uh, it was a long road back to get to this point. So I just wonder if you could just take us through, you know, sort of the, the mental roller coaster that you may have gone through, you know, while you healed up physically. Yeah, um, it was tough, man. I mean, being away from the game and especially with COVID, being away from – teammates and not being able to rehab here uh, at the ballpark was was difficult but you know I just felt really grateful and blessed that I had I had really smart people to work with and I was able to see kind of whoever I needed to get my body right and get back on the field um, and I'm really thankful for everybody that's helped me along the way I couldn't have done this without myself you know I had a lot of friends and family and, and a lot of really good therapists that I've seen over the last two years and um, mm. you know me getting back on the field is a testament to everybody and I'm just really grateful for that. No doubt, brother. No doubt. Amazing. Good stuff right there. Now, you have one of the best nicknames going, The Shed. You have a teammate named <laughs> Shed. So with that being yeah. said, sometimes, you know, players, we want to take each other's numbers and who's got more time. Have you and Shed Long gotten together and talked about who is The Shed or the real Shed? Shed is The Shed. Yeah, no, nobody, <laughs> nobody really calls me that. My nickname's <laughs> Hanny, so yeah, um, love that one. Yeah, I know you got the Mitch Palooza sign. That's cool, too. Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, we were joking about it yesterday, actually, so it was, it was pretty funny. Yeah, so it's the, the Battle of the Sheds. Maybe it's a tag team match. The Sheds versus the one fives, Kev. You and Dustin Pedroia, that's the big debate in Red Sox Nation. So now we got something yeah. going there. Um, all right, let's continue with this Mitch Palooza. Earlier in the show, we showed the video of Beast Mode Marshawn Lynch announcing a pick for the Seattle Kraken. Now, now you grew up in Sharks territory in the Bay. Yep. Um, are yep. you, like, where's your allegiance going to be in that Pacific division? Are you going to be rocking the Sharks teal or Kraken colors? I don't know. I'm, I might have to be a, a new Kraken fan. Um, Ooh. Haven't been to a Sharks game in a while, and I'm excited. I was actually online today looking at all the new Kraken stuff and seeing when the, when the arena's going to open, so it'd be pretty cool. I'm hoping to get to a game this fall and kind of see, see where it goes from That's there. Good. You know, when I grew up a uh, Niners fan, and now I'm kind of in the middle, you know, I love the Seahawks, love the Niners, and when they play each other, I just try to enjoy the game and, and not root for either team. So, um, yeah, I, I root for both, and I'm, I'm guessing it'll probably be the same way with, with the Sharks and the uh, and the Kraken. That's good stuff, though. That's good stuff. Fan, being a fan, that's what it's about. Now, I want to go back to your high school days. You are a two-sport athlete, okay? So we know the outfielder, Mitch Hanniger, is a stud. Now give me the scouting report on Mitch Hanniger, the whiteout. Oh. Yeah, wide out safety. Um, it was good. You know, my best friend was our quarterback, uh, so we connected a bunch my junior year and um, had a good senior year as well. And I love football, man. I miss I miss football every fall, and um, you know, love watching NFL and college football every fall, trying to soak it in and relive the glory days in high school. 
Who's on your midi Mount Rushmore, Mitch? Because like, people aren't familiar with uh, Aaron Powerhouse Gordon by for the sure. Bay, but there's a lot of yeah, athletes that come through there. Yeah, Eric, I'll probably forget a lot. We have we have a lot, but uh, Aaron Gordon's up there. Kerry Walsh, uh, Brandon Chastain. Um, yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of really good players coming out of MIDI. Love it. All right, brother. We got a few rapid fires. I'm gonna let you go back to Lake Kitten and going deep. Uh, you ready? Sounds good. Yeah. Has Thai France taught you how to blow bubbles like this? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But I need to learn. That, that, yeah, that, that right there, once it goes, it goes on the ear to the sideburns, the whole thing. All right, you're a Seattle guy. What's your go-to coffee order? Go-to coffee order? Mm. Black. See, you know, Keep it simple. Black. Grande black coffee, yeah. Starbucks Pike or, you know. Old? Um, yeah, there's a place over in West Seattle I like called Real Fine Coffee. Um, yeah, black or Americano, but most of the time just straight black coffee. All right, love it. The most famous Archbishop Mitty high school alum is? I say Aaron Gordon. Yeah. Aaron Gordon's the yeah. one. Or Kerry Walsh, man. I mean, <laughs> Kerry, Kerry Walsh, maybe, yeah. Gold medals, yeah. Yeah, All Kerry right. Walsh. The guy on the Mariners that America needs to know more about Ooh. is? <laughs> Let's go Shed Long. Shed. He's, cra he's a crack go. up, man. Yeah, yes. he's a crack up. He's been he's making me Love roll it. every day laughing, so yeah. Uh before we before we the let you shed. go. I got, I got oh. one more. Oh you do? I My got bad, one Kevin. More, I'm sorry. No, no. One more. So I've always I always love asking this one because your birthday's around Christmas, okay? It's on the twenty third. Oh, yeah. Now, I wanna know how many people try to go for the two for one presents or somebody in your family member that always tries to do that and you're like, come on, this is a two <laughs> gift scene. Yeah, it's definitely happened, but uh, I'll just say my, my parents did a good job. My parents did a good job. Um, yeah, they always they always have me a good birthday and then Christmas was separate, but it's definitely some of those people try to slide in and I don't blame them. I think I might have had to do the same thing if you know, if I was a cousin or a nephew to someone with a birthday right around Christmas. Yeah. Hey, well, Mitch, the last thing for you is not a question. I'm just relaying a tweet that we got from Matthew Wood. Tell M underscore Handy 17 he's my favorite player. Go Mariners. So. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. He's a lot. Some, some great vibes for you to end. Thank you for bringing some good vibes to us and Mariners baseball this year. Keep the Mitch Palooza rolling, man. Stay healthy and keep breaking. Absolutely. Thank you guys for having me. I really appreciate it.